Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to another Rust video. Today we're going to be having a look at an automated furnace setup using the Rust Plus bot. Uh, before we get into the build itself, I want to give a shout out to a fellow Rust YouTuber, Extreme Speed. Uh, he has a fantastic furnace automation video out at the moment, which I highly recommend you go and have a look at. I'll link that one in the description. One of the tips that I picked up from watching his video is that you can connect the uh, storage adapters on uh, your boxes together and that will increase the uh, throughput of the uh, conveyors that are connected. For example, if you just connect one box to another box with the conveyor in the middle, it will transfer 60 per tick, which is uh, part of the, the new update. Uh, if you connect one storage adapter to another and then through, it'll double the throughput to 120 per stack. And then you can connect up to four, which gives you 240 per stack which is pretty uh pretty awesome you can quadruple your throughput so in this example we've connected all four we're putting in a thousand wood and you can see that it's transferring when it comes through 240 wood in one tick so every five seconds Per stack, it will transfer 240 of that item. That's gonna be especially useful with our setup here, where we have what would be our Dropbox, and we can throughput 240 per stack of our wood and ores into our buffer box. Uh, you can see here we have filters for the wood and the ore, so that only those can go into our buffer box. And in our buffer box, we have a single metal fragment. And that's another tip that I've picked up from Extreme Speed's video. So if you have that in your filters of your filler conveyor, it will allow you to daisy chain your furnaces, which is very efficient because you're not wasting metal fragments on splitters and combiners. So that's an awesome little uh, workaround that he's found there. Now moving on to this build, you can see that it's being powered by one small battery. So this whole circuit takes 10 power to operate. Uh, the brains behind this uh, system is the storage monitor. Uh, so it's sending data through to the Rust Plus bot, which is performing some logic in the code to determine whether or not to turn on the filler conveyor and uh, then it will determine if the filler conveyor is on, whether it needs to turn on the igniter. And then it's constantly checking the uh, state of the box to see if there is any ore and wood. And if it runs out of ore, it will turn off the conveyor and allow the furnaces to burn out the remaining wooden ore that's inside. Uh, we'll do a little demonstration now to demonstrate the system working. We'll place some uh, ore and wood into our dump chest and you can see the conveyor is now passing it into the buffer chest which you'd notice we've got a lock on so that means none of your teammates can uh, put any seeds or rocks or torches in there to clog up the system and as you can see it has turned on the uh, conveyor it's filled up the furnaces and it has ignited now here is the circuit i'll add a link to that in the description so you can have a closer look and as I said, the, the code's been run by the uh, Rust Plus bot. I'll link the website for that as well, so you can go and try this yourself. It should work on almost every server. So once you've got the uh, Rust Plus bot installed on your Discord server, which it's very easy to do, there's plenty of documentation to uh, show you how, you're gonna pair up your smart devices. So that's as easy as getting out your wire tool in game and going over to whichever smart device you want to pair up and hitting pair. And then it will prompt you on Discord, do you want to pair this device and to give it a name. Now, for the code that is gonna be linked in the description, 
you're going to want to name them as per the code. So the storage monitor is going to be called uh, the SM or box, so storage monitor or box. Uh, and the switches are going to be called, the first one's going to be called SS uh, filler, smart switch filler. And then the, the last smart switch, we're going to call it SS igniter because it's the smart switch that's going to control the igniter. So once you've got them all paired up, it's time for you to load up the uh, Rust Plus Bot uh, plugin manager. And this is where we're going to simply copy and paste the code in and that will allow you to save the plugin and you'll be able to use that on any server anytime. So you just create yourself a new plugin, give it a name that's relevant. For this one, we're gonna call it the ore smelter and just the description for your own benefit. So you make a few plugins, you know what's what. We're gonna say this one automates the smelting of ore, nice and simple. And so you're just gonna to go to on entity change because we wanna know when the storage monitor witnesses a change, it's going to run this code. Um, as I said, the code is linked in the description, so you can just simply copy and paste this into the, the Rust Plus bot yourself. And as long as you've named the uh, smart devices correctly and you've got everything wired up correctly, it will run for you the same as it's running for me now. And you can also go in and tweak the values however you like. You can change the amount of ore, for example, you want in the box before it kicks off. Uh, before we sign off today, I'll just let you know that I have started a Discord. So if you are interested in hanging out and chatting about all things Rust related, uh, feel free to join. Anyway, thanks for watching today's video. We'll see you again next time. Cheers.